Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Pixelmon. As you can see on my wrapped around my squarish torso. I got the the Mega Ring. I ended up beating a I think it was like a rare Mega Sharpedo right in the waters here as I was working on the house. I'll show you that in a second. And yeah, I got the Mega Ring. I didn't end up recording it because I didn't I don't know, it just didn't come to mind. I didn't have my setup going or anything. The mic wasn't there. But I did record a couple other things, and they're going to be pretty cool, so I'll show you them now. So as you can see, we ended up fighting our first legendary. A couple of them spawned over here, but I didn't think I could take them, so I didn't even bother while I was building on the house and stuff. But I I don't know why, I just tried this time and I ended up actually catching it. I was actually not even looking at the ball when I got it. As you can see, I was standing still for a second there. Uh, I just didn't think I would get it, so I wasn't paying attention. But then I looked up on my screen, I was like, oh wow, I actually caught it, so F1. You can see it's a Tapu Lele, and if we look, I actually never played Sun and Moon or any of that, so I don't really know what a Tapu Lele does. I know it's like a guardian of an island or something like that, but I'm pretty sure we actually got a really horrible one. <laughs> like attack boosted, which it's definitely a special attacker, and the fence is lowered, and it already looks pretty low. So, yeah, it, it sucks. But at least it's a high level legendary or Pokemon at that. And I also got a EXP share from the first and only, well, I guess not only, I battled the Mega Sharpedo, but the first boss we found. It was just an uncommon one and it gave me the EXP share. I was like, I don't, I'm pretty sure that's super rare. But let's go look at the house. If I could just bink. Okay. As you can see, it's, oh, okay, Joltik. Um, I didn't mean to roll my therapy. It doesn't do anything. I'm pretty sure only has one attacking move, doesn't he? Yeah, my man's got tickle. Okay. So, uh, it's definitely weird looking, and I don't think it necessarily looks good. <laughs> but I'm trying, okay? I'll, I'll add a little to each episode, but I literally worked on it for like an hour or two. So, got a nice balcony up here. Try to get a windowsill or just something to add a little depth to it you know uh nice splash paint wall there oh feels laggy right here i'm i've been feeling some lag and i think it's because of the furnaces so i might remove them i'm not sure though i have to figure that out i got new doors here i think they look a lot better got a little pathway here to a little lily pad bridge just to get over here thought that was pretty neat and that boat's honestly just for decoration i just thought it looked cool and if we go inside, I don't know, I like the color splash idea, but I don't know if it looks that well right here. Inside, we have the regular stuff. The furnaces were right here, but I got rid of them for now just to help with lag. Um, I've got a pain in here. I tried to get all the torches out. I'll not use any torches, so I only got these lights. And um, they look cool. I definitely like them. But I don't know if I like them how I use them. You know? Does that make sense? Yeah. Got my secret storage here. As you can see, like, here's the Sharpedo Knight, and I got a life orb from it. I found a Cherish Ball. Well, I guess I didn't find it when I made the healer. It gave me it as a quest reward. I know, I got over a stack of diamonds. I have actually more up here if we go up to the attic. it It's pretty plain looking right now, but it'll get better. Once I, you know, have things to add and think of things to do. And here's the other amount of diamonds. I got a couple tools in here and all my enchanting stuff. Here's the enchanting station and the little balcony to look out at. I thought it was pretty cool. Whoa, that spun right in front of our eyes. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So, that's the progress on the house. I don't know if I'll be doing progress like every episode, but yeah, that's that. And I got a Pampor and a Pan Sage just if I think something's rare, I'm going to catch it. 
Uh, I was going to train Dratini, but I cut this guy, and I thought I'd swap him out for now. I have Scyther and Zangoose. And what I plan to do is actually... Oh, another Totodile. Um, I'll try to catch it. Just, why not? Something I want to do is raise an army of different Pokemon that know False Swipe. And I actually have a couple planned out. I want to get... Um, let's see. I wrote on a sticky note right here. I want to get Scizor. And... Um, Shedinja. I think that would be a really cool Pokemon to get. Along with Zangoose for... I think it would be really nice to use Zangoose because it's a stab. Oh, my first ball. Nice. Um, a stab move for Zangu, so it will do more damage. I might change him, though. I'm not sure. There's a boss on Mega, but no way I can get to that right now. When they're flying, they're so hard to get. And, uh, Glade, because he knows, he can know a lot of stuff, like, uh, Thunder Wave and stuff like that. And he's a good tracer. I want to get some tracers. Just so I could start getting Pokemon. Like good Pokemon. And jeez. He's dancing dude. And let's see. Weavile. I kind of just threw him in. Because I thought I would want to get a full team of six. And I know he's very fast. And I'm pretty sure he's very strong. So I thought he would be cool to throw in there. And then finally we got Breloom. Because he would know Spore. And Spore is like a 100% you're asleep move. I thought that would be pretty cool. But for this episode, I thought we actually do something different. I'm going to have to get some balls together. But I'm thinking that we could go on a, a Pokemon catching spree kind of episode. And I thought, what better way than to start at Gen 1? So how I want to do this is actually these different levels. Oh, that's really cool. Um, It's actually just go and... Basically, it's like very inefficient. I should kind of go from biome to biome, catching all the Pokemon in this biome, then the next biome and stuff. But, eh, whatever. I kind of want to go and catch a Weedle, then a Kakuna, then a Beedrill, then a Caterpie, then a Metapod, then a Butterfree, stuff like that. And I will do the starters and all, but as they're already pretty rare, if I... Where's my balls? They're Apricorns. Say, like, if I don't have... Or I'm not going to try to look for them that much. Kind of just get the commons out of the way. And it'll really help with the Pokedex. As you can see, we already have 33 out of 881. So there's a, <laughs> a lot to go. And we still have zero money. I'm thinking about getting a, a team of pickups. And I think Meow's the best way to go. Because you could get Payday and Happy Hour with the Amulet Coin as well. So, that's another thing I plan to do in the future, but right now I think we're just going to do a fun little catching spree. So, let me get a bunch of balls together and I'll meet you back here. Alright, everybody. So, we're back, and after a little bit of prep and hard work and labor... Oh, Electabuzz! I can actually catch him right now. Um... Here's all the balls I got. I've got actually quite a bit. And uh, some more in here. A lot of buttons and stuff. Uh, it's kind of hard to record a lot of clips and sometimes because my family's so loud. <laughs> so I apologize if sometimes it feels like it's like shaky or jumpy. Not shaky. I don't know. That doesn't really make sense. But like jumpy and cuts and stuff. It's I'm just trying to make sure to get you know the best thing possible here. And not really a lot of background noise and high quality stuff. Because, you know, I'm super high quality. I don't think I could paralyze an electric type, but I thought I'd try. Oh, wait. I'm dumb. Let me run. Can I run? Okay, let me rejoin and throw a quick ball. I'm kind of quick balling everything. And if something takes longer, I use the ultra ball. I'll use a quick ball. And if it doesn't work at nighttime, I use a dusk ball. Yeah, so. Um... Let's see, what can I do for 26? I could use Toric Hat. So I'm kind of catching whatever. Uh, If they're like kind of rare. Does that make sense? So if it's... Why do I use it? Like I can't paralyze. And I paralyze myself. 
Um. So like, I'm trying to find a caterpie, caterpie. I killed it. No, man. I think Ponita is a little rare too, so I'm gonna catch it while I'm here. But say like, I want to catch a caterpie, and so if I can't, or if while I'm finding the caterpie, I keep saying caterpie. I don't know why. If I can't, or while I'm finding the caterpie, uh, I stumble upon something rare, then obviously I'll you know catch that because why I have to wait for that um I'll definitely get rid of growl for synthesis and even if it's not in gen 1 and it's rare I'm going to cat gonna I don't know I said it so weird I'm gonna catch it uh or at least try to but uh I'm gonna as far as or as much as I can go in order of pokedex so right now we're at caterpie so I'm just gonna kind of just cut through and when we find a caterpie we find a caterpie oh there's a caterpie over here i bet he's in the trees they're always in the trees oh there he is i bet you i could just throw a quick ball at him honestly oh i'm gonna battle him it should only be a quick ball i think i have a metapod i could check um is this a catch yeah there we go so, here's what we have. Also, I caught a semi seer and a semi sage just so I didn't have to uh, use stones on them for the Pokedex reasons. I caught another Jatini, a Drifblim, a Surfetched. I do have the Metapod, an Ekans, and a Caterpie. Or we just caught the Caterpie and the Ponita and a Rattata. I caught kind of this whole area right here while I couldn't record because you know the noise was too loud, sadly. But uh. Yeah, so we have 256 boxes, so I think for now what I'll do is kind of store them. All the Gen 1s I'll put over here and just kind of uh, sort them out when I can. So let me clear this up, clean it up a bit, and then I'll be right back. Uh, I was going to record for the Cadaver, but there's actually a Turd Twig right here. I don't think we have a Turd Twig yet. That would be really nice to get. I really hope in the fu oh jeez he broke straight out. I really hope in the future that I could um make it to where I could get like a stack of healers on me and place them down in dire times, you know. Right, get out of here, Cherubi. Come on, turd. He's so tiny, dude. Come on, there we go. Thunder wave. He's paralyzed. Good. I didn't use the quick ball. Let me let me run. I keep getting so hyped for the quick ball, or the paralysis, that I forget to start out with the quick ball. Come on, come on. And nice, we did it. Um, I want that Kadabra. He's kind of a rare spawn. And I know it's not very much in order at all, but it's, uh, it's kind of, you know, as we see, we do. Kind of basis. I'll try to go in order, though. And it probably should work. He's not that rare. Yeah, okay. Oh, I'm here. Might as well get the bell sprout. It's, you know, a three for one thing right here. And probably catch, I assume. See, I have to get a rare spawn. Oh, there's a Weedle, actually. Let me go get that. Dang, I'm finding everything right now. There's a rare spawn. Or I need a... Uh, Butterfree and Beedrill, but those are rare spawns, so if we see them, we see them. We could always get another Metapod and Kakuna. It's not the end of the world. And I won't try to find everything. I'm actually going to catch this Metapod just because I feel like we're not going to find the Butterfree. And they're really common, so it's not that big of a deal. Where's this Metapod? Oh. Come here, Metapod. Oh, I got him. Um, he broke free. Come here. I don't know if quick balls actually even work, honestly, out of a, a battle. Because it seems they have a higher chance to work in battle than out of battle. All right, a thunder wave, and I'll just use a... Honestly, I could use probably a pokeball on him. I think that's what I want to do. I really need a glade just so I could paralyze and use false swipe on the same Pokemon instead of having to... uh 
switch, 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 switch swap. So I could go to like Zangoose. Because balls are really hard to get. I used up literally every single drop of aluminum and uh, aluminum and iron that I had. It's all gone. Reduced to atoms. This has to work. It's just a metapod. Okay, cool. Uh, advancement made. Catch a Pokemon with a Pokeball. Oh, yeah. Um, A couple clips ago, or clips, a couple episodes ago, maybe last episode, I was talking about how I had, Uh, there was like a hurricane outside. Is that an Elix Shrine? That's supposed to be like super dummy rare. I think we just found one. Yo. That's nice. That was very easy to find. Elix Shrine. I think that's how it's called. Cool. Um, There was a Pidgeotto I wanted, but I didn't get him. Let me get this Meowth. It's just a long clip of getting everything. Meltank, I almost caught him. In my head, I was like, oh, Meltank, right after the Meowth. But that's a Gen 2 Pokemon, which we will obviously do after the Gen 1. Um... Let's see, what is that? Is that a Rattata? I got one of those. Let's see, Talo. Oh, Spearow, but he's in a battle. Oh, who's he in a battle with? Ooh, Electrike. Spearow's dead, dude. Rip Spearow. Come on, don't beat up Toracat. He's paralyzed, too. Ugh. Man. Oh, did I send out Tapa Lele? Yeah, you're dead, Rattata. Sorry. Nothing personnel, kid. Let's put up Galvantula up front. This Spearow wins. He's chosen. Come on. Yo, nice. Oh. Hey, get, hey, hey, hey. Stay here. Hey. Oh, geez. I'm not going to catch him. Whew. Okay, got him. Okay, quick ball. That should work. It's turning nighttime. I don't know. It seems like in the forest, all the spawns I need are daytime spawns. I have a bed, so it's not that big of a deal. I decided to stay in the forest to get uh, as much as I need. Just when I need to... uh. Or for the off chance we get a Bulbasaur. We got a Turtwig. And I assume they're about the same rarity because they're both starters. I know Turtwig on, or Bulbasaur only spawns in the daytime though. So, um, hopefully we can get one. What is that? Ingredient? Ingredients go away, man. Ugh, not enough to kill. Spit up. Failed. There was an Abra. I'll catch that too. Just because they're a little bit of a pain to get. And speaking of Abras, I saw a someone commented a very helpful comment talking to what drops Ender Pearls and what drops Blaze Powder. And Abras drop Ender Pearls, which I do have a couple Blaze Rods or uh, Powder and a couple Ender Pearls. And when we do an end episode, they'll uh, really help out trying to get there. So I appreciate that a lot. I appreciate all the comments and all the support on here. It's been actually kind of crazy. I didn't expect Pixel on the blow up like it did and i know it's not like crazy blown up but for someone at my small youtube status it's uh it's really big for me and i'm really grateful for all the kind things everyone's been saying and all the likes and support so yeah appreciate it a lot it helps me really want to make these videos and i'm trying to do my best here and I, I really wish i could do them daily and i know sometimes i can't like i posted isaac yesterday and i know it's not gonna do nearly as good but I love Isaac, so, uh, you know, I'm going to obviously play games that I like. But I'm really trying to crank out as much as I can for y'all when it comes to Pixelmon. So, just, yeah, I appreciate it. And I guess I'll come back when I find something else to catch. Alright, everyone. So, this is just a, a weird voiceover thing. While I'm catching a whole lot of Pokemon, it's... Like, a bunch of sporadic clips, and the reason I did this is because, well, I should say that I'm trying to do, like, a video every day, whether it's Pixelmon or not, but a video every day, Monday through Friday, and this was supposed to be Friday's episode, but I ran out of time to record it, and I just couldn't finish it when, like, my house gets full, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like, I'm sure a lot of people have the same problem where... You're just in, you know, a place where it's just too loud to record. So I only have limited time. And I just couldn't get it done before, you know, my time ran out that day. And so I thought something um, cool to do would be to 
just, you know, go around catching all the Pokemon, all the Gen 1 Pokemon, like I said I would. And it's just, uh, basically the clip's just of me catching it. Uh, some are a little longer than others, and some just have, like, random sound effects and stuff, or, like, the Pokemon, but it's, uh, also, fun fact, it's in order, uh, numerically from the Pokedex of how I did it. It's definitely not all Gen 1 Pokemon. I thought I had a lot, but after this, there's going to be a clip of me showing you the PC that I organized. And it actually, I actually have, um, not a lot. I thought I had gained a decent amount, but not that much. I'm not sure if it pops up in chat on any of these clips, but I actually got, um, the complete the Pokedex. Or the, not complete the Pokedex, but the do 10% of the Pokedex in the, uh, or in the, what am I talking about? I, I just completed 10% of the Pokedex, so, you know, I have a decent amount of Pokemon now, but there's still a lot to go, but a lot of the commons are out of the way, even some rares, too, and I'll show you some rares that I caught that weren't for Gen 1. I only show the Gen 1 Pokemon here, but there's some others there, so, uh, I hope it's interesting. I know it's not the most interesting. I could have done it better, but there's no audio, uh, like, voice audio. There's game sound, but... No voice audio because of how it, uh, I just couldn't. It would be too loud and it would be too hectic. But hope you enjoy this. It's the best that I could do for this episode. I know in the beginning I sounded tired too, but it, it's not the best episode, I don't think. But I hope it, you know, you enjoy it. So, uh, here's me catching a couple more Pokemon and I hope you enjoy. All right, everyone. Uh, we're back to living large. What? We're back to the the present. This is real time. All that that's in the past. What you just saw. This is me trying to finish up this episode and get it out to you guys. I thought I'd show you the the PC and all that we caught. So we go bing bong, and so let's see how I did it. These. Oh, I didn't even put these guys up. And we got a Dreepy. And remember when I said Applin was rare? Yeah, I don't think he's that rare. <laughs> um, we did find a sweet apple, so I could get Appleton, which is really cool because that's my favorite uh, out of the two. The Flap or whatever, I don't really care for that one. But Appleton, that one's pretty cool. Uh, we got Cinescorch, Drapion, we got a Corsola, but the Alolan, no, the Galarian one. So I don't know if that's rare. I think it's a Galarian. Maybe it's a Alolan. Uh, we got a Finnegan and a Brakeson, Briaxon, I don't know. A Sinistee, but it's not the antique version or the 1% the one, one. Hip out on. Uh, another Finnegan, so we can get the whole set. Raolu, the Tortwig you saw, I got a Poltigeist, Geist. These aren't that rare. Neither is Sinistee, I thought they were rare. Uh, there's a biome I found that literally spawns a million of them. I found a Score Bunny, which is really cool. This Golbat's going to be a Crobat, but it's not Gen 1. This is going to be a Politoed, so it's not Gen 1. I caught a Gabite, a Meganium, Nosepass, Trap Pinch. A Mimikyu, I'm pretty sure, is pretty rare. Uh, I haven't seen any others, so I caught it. And a Dreepy. Now, I also got an Amulet Coin from killing a bunch of Meows. Um, I don't know where these go, but pretend they're organized numerically. So, if you want to look. We also have these guys, but I'm pretty sure you all have seen all of these. Kind of surf fetched. Maybe you haven't seen that. Uh, but here. So this is uh, in order. So this would be Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur, Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard. And it goes like that. It goes down. So. um, Some. So, okay. So it should be Rattata and Raticate right here. But since there's an Alolan form of Rattata, I figured we have to catch that form too. So that's why there's empty spaces sometimes. It's because of um their other forms. Like Alolan uh, Raichu. And sometimes I messed up, I'm pretty sure. And I have to... It, this isn't perfect. I think I messed up a couple more times. Like, Sandshrew and Sandslash. They have an Alolan form too, but I wasn't thinking about it. So, pretend it's perfect, but it's it's not. So, we got all these guys. If you see three Oddishes, it's obviously like, this one's going to be a Gloom. And this one's a Vileplume. So, yeah. 
So we got these guys. It's decently filled, but definitely not like a lot. <laughs> it could very much improve. I got lucky enough and found Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan. I also found a Hitmontop, but I don't think I caught him. Now I think about it, rip. Um, and then I caught three Jatinis. I also caught that Gyarados. I know you saw it. It was like the last one, but it's cool that I caught a Gyarados, level 50. I don't think I have the, uh, the guy. Who was I looking for? It was... Hitmontop. I don't think I have a Hitmontop. I think there's a search feature. If I press, yeah, S. No, I don't have a Hitmontop, rip. So yeah, that's where we're at now with the Gen 1. If you look at the, when I press U, it brings up this. I got 117 out of 881, which is a massive improvement compared to, um, what was it earlier? It was like 33, I'm pretty sure. And look at that, there's even more Pokemon here we could catch. I'll try to catch a Nidorino right now. Oh, it's a little laggy. Sometimes it, it gets a little laggy and I just have to restart the uh, launcher. And it seems to fix it. I really think it's that chest mod. I probably shouldn't be adding mods to uh, nice mod packs that are already handmade. But YOLO, am I right? There's also... There's the whole... All four of them over here. I can catch these while we talk. I'm not sure if... I'm going to have enough time to do anything else in the episode, so this might be it. I'll have to check the time after this clip. But, also, I, I don't really know, uh, time-wise, what y'all want to see. If y'all want longer videos, I'll gladly make longer videos. But if y'all want, you know, 20-ish, 25-minute videos or, uh, whatchamacallit, even shorter or something like that, just let me know. And I'll gladly abide by your rules. At least try. It, it, time catches up fast. It's a lot faster than you expect. A quick ball should work on this guy. Come on. Also, I have like 41 quick balls when I had like almost 200 when I started. So, balls do also go pretty fast. Look at the Doe Duo. He looks so dumb. I actually need to catch another to train it to a Doe Drio. I think I didn't have to. I might have. But yeah, so, just let me know what, how long y'all usually like to watch videos. I know, like, for kids and stuff, the best way to do it is short videos. Because attention span and all that. But if y'all want to see longer videos, then I'll gladly make longer videos. Uh, it doesn't matter to me. It's just, uh, I guess time-wise, I'll try to get them out once a day, but maybe I can't. I already can't, apparently. Like I said, this was supposed to be Friday's episode, but... Um, yeah, that didn't really work out. Oh, also, I'm sure everyone noticed, but we found a desert. Uh, the real desert's right over there, I think, somewhere over there. And this is, like, shrubland and stuff. Well, we're in a desert, but, and we also found a mesa, which is really cool. Uh, I'm not really sure what all spawns here, but it's nice that we have a bunch more biomes. Like, if I press, oh, I fell. If I could get out of here, I'll press J. And show you the map. I did a lot of exploring. Um, this is where we were. And I went all the way... Oh, what the? No. I went all the way up here. And I finally found a desert, which is nice. I also found a bunch of um gems and villages. So, maybe next episode we can take on some gems. But, maybe not. I don't know if we're prepared enough for that. There's a Growlithe right here. I think I'll catch the Growlithe and then check the time in the episode and see where we're at. Also... I think I said in episode 1 that this is going to be a multiplayer series, but I might have lied because we thought we had a way to do it that was like, you know, free without going on a hosting server because we don't have money. <laughs> we just don't have the money to spend on a, a whole server just for Pixelmon. And so this is probably going to actually be a single player series, which is fine by me. And y'all seem to enjoy it, since there hasn't really been anyone any, uh, on it anyway, if I could speak. But I was thinking about... I ah, wanted that Growlithe anyway. I was thinking about, and if y'all want to, I could totally do this. Just, uh, you have to let me know in the comments. If I should start another Pixelmon series alongside this one. 
with friends on an actual like major server like complex pixelmon or something like that um or if i should wait till this series is over and then start a new one or you know it's something i'm still thinking about it but i figured it was one of those two or something along those lines you know so all right i think that's about everything i needed to say i'm gonna check the time of this episode and it's a little long but we might end it here all right guys so it looks like that's gonna be the end we are running a little bit over time how i usually like to do my videos so i know the this episode was kind of all over the place and everything and hopefully it wasn't too unbearable i don't want to like talk down my content but it's just it, it seemed like it was a little weird i don't know maybe it wasn't maybe it's just in my head but hope you all enjoyed today's episode and if you oh that's my back hope you all enjoyed today's episode if you did don't forget to like and subscribe and commenting would be really helpful uh, i really appreciate all the comments on here and all the support it's uh been crazy i was like at 17 subs and just this series alone kind of boosted me up to 40 i'm it's that's crazy i'm almost that if i get to 50 i assume i'm gonna well i don't know why i say i assume i should know because it's me but you know a 50 sub special i don't really know what i'll do for that but you know i'll try to think of something i i can't really do anything crazy but you know we'll see when we get there but i hope you all enjoyed have a wonderful day bye bye